The fight to save Friendship Park continues tonight. People protested there today by tying themselves to the border wall. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez went to the border where people are hoping to stop the construction of new 30 foot walls. Four people chained themselves to the border wall today. They're protesting construction of 30 foot walls at Friendship Park. Take a look at today's demonstration. The protesters chain themselves to the old primary wall, which construction crews will tear down to replace it with taller 30 foot barriers. They send a message of separation and division uh, when the purpose of the park is uh, union and, and friendship. We'll completely uh, destroy the visual landscape as well as the Binational Garden and the experience that people will have on the states as well as on the Mexico side. For decades, Friendship Park was a place loved ones could meet from both sides of the border. More recently, access to the area has been controlled and monitored by Border Patrol. I've been uh, involved in Friendship Park for um, a very long time, uh, like 20 years or so, and um, I'm very upset about what's currently going on there. Today, Daniel Watman went to the wall to try to stop construction and make a statement. Uh, putting up a banner on the wall that said uh, Amistad si, moros no, uh, friendship, friendships yes, walls no. Uh, someone saw me do that and, and chained themselves to the wall. He also chained himself to the wall and more people followed. Their protest stopped construction for several hours and they hope it caught the president's attention. The Biden administration can use the uh, the funds that, are, that are, were designated for this wall to create a different infrastructure uh, that creates friendship. Tonight, I reached out to Customs and Border Protection for comment on the protest and I did not get a response. Without any changes, I'm told construction of the walls will be complete sometime in November. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.